Hey, welcome or welcome back to the Uncomfortable is OK podcast. I'm your host, Chris Desmond. This is a show where we help you get better at doing hard things. Today we've got another strategy episode for you. Uh, The strategy comes from the book that I'm writing at the moment, Get Out of Your Comfort Zone, an expert guide to doing hard stuff. And this one is called the If-Then Approach. So what is it? An if-then approach allows you to prepare for all the different eventualities that might occur as a result of the challenge that you're going to take on. When you're planning for a challenge, Take some time to think about all the possible outcomes that might happen. There is obviously going to be the one where you succeed. Woohoo! That's great. But there are probably more scenarios where something goes wrong and you don't succeed. Some of these scenarios can be pretty daunting and they're often going to hold you back from starting to take action on that challenge and, and to get going. And when you're noting down the different potential outcomes, it isn't a time to ruminate on them and start to catastrophize about what might happen and get all up in your head about it. It's a time to get down all of the possibilities that are in your head and just put them all out there. And it can sometimes be helpful to ask someone else what they think other potential outcomes might be uh, because they might bring up some things that that you haven't seen or that you haven't thought about. But if you are going to ask someone else's advice, try and pick someone who's reasonably pragmatic uh, rather than someone who is a bit of a pessimist um, so that you get some more balanced, objective possibilities for things that might happen. And once you've got all the different possibilities down, go back to each one and play out the scenario in your mind. And what's really important is think about what you would do to move forward from the position that you're in if that scenario were to happen. So asking yourself, if this scenario were to happen, then I would do dot 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 dot. Work through your list of possible scenarios so that you have a plan of action for each of them. And having this plan of action usually helps reduce initial fear around starting and allows you to get going with the challenge. So where do I apply it? Uh, As I alluded to just before, the strategy is often used really well in the planning stages for a challenge. Uh, It can be really helpful if you're ruminating about the potential negative outcomes or if you're a bit scared to start. But it's also a great practice to get into if you're planning on taking anything large uh, where the outcome is uncertainty, where the outcome is uncertain, or there's a larger level of risk associated with it. Planning for all eventualities keeps you safe and helps you get back on track after a setback. And while it's really useful in the initial planning stages for a challenge, it can be equally useful to take this approach partway through a challenge uh, and just plan out your your next moves especially if the circumstances change or new information comes to light so this strategy in action and this is easily one of the most popular strategies used by guests of the uncomfortable is okay podcast Uh, Previous guests Lucy Revel and Justine Hamill both use it to great effect uh, with choices that they make and and challenges that they face. But probably the guest that epitomizes the if-then approach is Grant Axe Rawlinson. And Axe is obsessed with human-powered adventure. He's climbed Mount Everest up the North Ridge, uh, which is the harder way. Uh, He's traversed from Ben Nevis in Scotland to Mount Blanc in France, uh, all under human power. Uh, He's traversed from the summit of Mount Ruapehu to Aoraki Mount Cook in New Zealand. He's trekked multiple routes and climbed a multitude of mountains all over the globe. Uh, He's rowed a boat from Singapore to Darwin, cycled from Darwin to Coffs Harbour, 
and three times attempted to row the Tasman Sea from Australia to New Zealand. And obviously there's a massively higher level of risk associated with Axe's endeavours. So it's really imperative that he makes sure that he's going to be safe while he's doing them and get home to his family. So planning for his expeditions with an if-then approach allows him to cover off all possible scenarios, understand what his response needs to be to keep him safe and to get him out of it, and then train those responses. And working this way has kept him safe on so many different occasions to allow him to get home to his family, but also to get back and adventure and get uncomfortable again. So why does this work? The if-then approach works in a couple of different ways. Uh, firstly, it increases your chances of having a successful outcome. If you pl- spend time planning for all eventualities that you can think of, uh, then you're going to end up with a whole raft of action steps that you can put into play. And having these action steps allows you to respond proactively in a range of different scenarios. And responding proactively means that you act more quickly and with more purpose than if you didn't have a plan, which allows you to get back on track faster, uh, stops you spiraling out of control, and means that you you stay a lot safer. But the if-then approach also helps you to get started, because often what holds you back is fear of uncertain outcomes. And it can be easy to ruminate about these and for our anxiety levels to elevate beyond what's beneficial for our performance. But understanding that you have a plan of action for all possible scenarios creates some internal reassurance that you're going to be able to handle whatever outcome occurs from this challenge. It reduces the anxiety levels around starting and allows you to push forward with action in your challenge. But it also reduces the anxiety levels when the situation does go awry because you've already planned for it. And having reduced anxiety levels allows you to perform better, hopefully moving you back towards the desired result faster. So that's the if then approach. Uh, would love to hear how you use it on a challenge that you're that you're a little bit stuck on at the moment. Uh, make sure to to post it out on social media. Tag tag me in it. I'd love to see. Uh, or send me an email. Uncomfortable is okay at gmail dot com. Again, this is a strategy from a book that I'm writing at the moment. Get out of my comfort zone. An expert guide to doing hard stuff. Uh, If you want to be kept up to date with the book, uh, grab a few strategies in written format, but also uh, be the first to know when the book's coming and get hooked up with some sweet deals, you can jump over to getoutofmycomfortzone.com. That's getoutofmycomfortzone.com. Pop your email in there. I'll send you some strategies and keep you up to date with the rest of the stuff. Thank you so much for getting uncomfortable with me today.